Yeah, I wish spies would sort of bribe units automatically. I think that'd be uh, put down an awful lot of the micromanagement. I also the units they've, inve they've wasted investing in uh, all the resources they've was wasted anti-aircraft. I've not built a single aircraft, but if I did, I knew it'd get uh, sh shot down, shot out of the sky before it even, you know, got into the sky. What the hell's going on? I have no idea. This is just this is just chaos. I do know there's Marseille, which is the wrong part of the country, but you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, I've not complained about any other French cities being somewhat out of place. Those five spies are doing better than that, those hordes that I trained ever did. Talking of training hordes. That's hordes with a D. More spies. route to go here. Nuclear is probably the best option, but I can't. <laughs> Actually, this front seems fairly quiet. I'm going to go for Nantes. How dare you bribe? <laughs> it's my job. You got all your bribing done at the beginning of the game, Sonny Jim. The irritating thing is I don't know how long the build queue is going to be. <laughs> until we get the opportunity to build some more. Yeah, it's this kind of bogged down fighting that I really don't enjoy. Uh, as a human player it puts me at a disadvantage. Uh, as a fairly, you know, fairly slow player, it puts me against, you know, puts me at a disadvantage against humans. Yeah, it's, it's just not, not terribly fun.
That's it, all my siege units have wiped out now. Seed units though, so what's the point? I can't take any cities now. Do my uh, do my utmost to try and sort of improve my population cap, going as far as to kill my other citizens because they're taking up space. Or a mortar shell. We've got two. So where to use them? And if I know it was going to be this difficult, we'd have knocked it down to the sort of level or something. Kill that spy. There we go. And that one. Yeah, and that one. We all see you, dear. I think sheer economics is on my side here, but, you know, what a friend he's turned out to be over the years. So, where's some siege mortars? Any siege mortars? Um, I don't really care anymore. Is it because the French? I think it might be because the French are having such difficulty. Because all, all their units are generally speaking auto healing uh, to the nearest supply wagon. Plus he's gone for the all the autocratic uh, things, which makes their units extremely cheap compared to mine that have longevity, supposedly. be my interest to build a lot of spies, but I know spies attempting bribery, what else is new? He's wasting population cap on biplanes. So why why is he managing to outnumber me practically everywhere?
Hmm. We've got 25 minutes to sort of score through. Um, Cause we've got, we've got a time limit, and this is the first time we've been conscious of the fact that there's a time limit. Yeah, a large sort of a looming time limit plus no siege weapons doesn't make me a very happy person. Like none, no, nada. I can I can bribe some artillery, that might help. So these units are getting built before um, my siege weaponry is, and it's uh, it hurts. Kill that spy. Oh, he's building some artillery for me. Let's hope we can take it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it gets destroyed as soon as I take it. Still no siege equipment? None? I mean, Jesus Christ, people. Actually, who needs siege equipment? I'm doing quite well. Uh, Oh, 
And of course, any city that I get over him is one more city I have, you know, a bit more economy. And this front's all been built, all but, uh, been all but forgotten. Well, it's got to the point now I've got so many resources and it's all on sort of auto, you know, auto build anyway. There's uh, very little reason to care about my troops. Just a nice quick game before bed, I said to myself. Well, you move over there and sort of defend this city while everyone else sort of takes out this fort. I hope it should take no time at all. Because that major city fell uh, pretty quickly. Still, this is a, this is a sort of lesson for us all. Um, if you get an opportunity to build siege, siege weaponry, for the love of God, do it. But this is the kind of attack that I faced from the Bantu once. It just managed to take down my fortresses. So you imagine, imagine hordes and hordes of uh, musketeers just took down a fortress like that. No siege equipment. Huh. Where do you get all that artillery from? That would be pretty neat. Be up for that. Ah, oh, there's Paris. Ah, that's uh, fifteen minutes to get to an old luminette. Right. Push on, if we get enough casualties, we might end up with some siege equipment to the end of it. Hurrah! <laughs> Most inspiring battle cry, but it's certainly factual. To the point. Good general ship be damned. We'll just sort of, we'll outnumber them. The bell queue is so large that there will always be a constant wave of units. Any spies attempting bribery? Sort her out. Yeah. Can't bribe a few of their units to join our cause now that we seem to be winning. Only seem to. I give the impression of doing quite well. There we go. There's still no siege equipment. 
This is uh, this is crazy. Okay, a few people on the side over there. Uh, main defense will come from the spies. to find uh, able and willing people to join, you know, join the slaughterhouse. But on our side, what a meat grinder battle. You really do get a feel for the, um, it wouldn't have been much quicker had I had the siege weapon, I don't think, I don't think it would have been much quicker. We do get the feel of just how slow industrial warfare is when both sides are in that's the critical thing. Both sides are in the industrial age. The Spanish, they never got there. So I was able to walk straight all over them. I'm still in the population cap. I've not come down from a population cap in... Aeons. Alright, I've got uh, 13 minutes left. I think things are looking up. I f finally destroyed their spirit. If not the biplanes. Right, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, God. This will go down to the annals of history as, you know... Why? It just, you know, just such a... such bloodshed. Oh, there's a uh, the tower there. That probably needs to be taken out. Sorry, a stockade. I do beg its pardon. Any uh, idle military units? None that aren't being fired at. Just guess that. Oh, I won't bother taking down Marseille. I'll um, just be happy as I am. And I think. Hold on a second. I think I'm coming to the end of the tape, so bear with me. Right, that's bought me enough time to um, finish this blasted level off. Let's go to fast game speed, just just to see what it looks like. And come on. Thirty seconds. Oh, you can do it. Just write over some critical stuff that I've got, as long as it's not the dissertation. Just almost. I'm attack the auto plant, yeah. Yeah, that's, that sounds like fun. And that one. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Get in! It's been a, whew, it's been a battle, battle and a half. We we pulled through. And just just one stat I want to find out: units killed one thousand and eighty-seven, units lost six hundred and seventy-nine. God, God, this is if this is victory, you know, uh, it's a victory for me. It's a a loss overall for the human race. Just oh dear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a loss too for my computer, which is struggling valiantly. Uh, and all of the games of the French are of the fealty and Come on. There we 
don't give up the ghost now. 764 tributes, which is quite phenomenal. I think they've got to be the toughest opponents I'm going to I'm going to just have faced. So one over there. Uh, they've got no enemies left. <laughs> they've got no enemies left. All these armies, nobody to use them against. Uh, one over there. I've also united Europe under my wise rule. I don't know if it told you that. Or if I got a bonus for it, but if I didn't, that's that's fine. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, look at a few card purchases. That's always a good one. Treachery is always fun. Sabotage. Treachery. Science Eureka. Trade embargo. Woo! Treachery. Sabotage and treachery. So yeah, I've got so many treachery cards, I may as well have a bit of fun with them. But I'll do that next video, because my hard drive is screaming at me. So, see you uh, see you next time, folks. And I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that episode more than I did. See you later.